dear first semester with you students hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for the mathematics subject so far we have discussed uh, some derivations and also questions from angle between radius vector and tangent today i am with this super important question which is a seven or eight marks question that is show that the given pairs of polar curves can intersect orthogonally so these two curves are given that is r is equal to into one minus cos of theta r is equal to b into one plus cos of theta okay almost first module is same for uh, all the streams so this question will be uh, important for all the streams over there okay so let me solve this particular question how how we can check the given pairs of polar curves can intersect orthogonally okay so there is the condition uh, which you should remember that is uh, if at the end of this particular question if we are getting phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to phi by 2 then we can say that the given curves are intersecting orthogonally right okay let me solve this first uh, then later on we will be knowing how to get this phi in the picture right so first of all let us uh, call these equations as first and second a into 1 minus cos of theta this is your first equation and next one is equal to r is equal to b into 1 plus cos of theta this i am calling as second equation right so first of all let us differentiate this one so differentiate above equation with respect to theta okay what is the differentiation of r with respect to theta i can write down dr upon d theta is equal to a is the constant as it is what is the differentiation of one you should be knowing this differentiation so differentiation of a constant is always equal to zero so differentiation of one is zero and minus what is the differentiation of cos minus sine so minus sine of theta is the differentiation of cos so we are getting this much so from here also i can differentiate simultaneously this equation also differentiate with respect to theta so i am getting here dr upon d theta is equal to b is a constant so b is a constant differentiation of one is zero plus cos theta differentiation is minus sine of theta i hope you are getting my point this is the simple differentiation which you can easily do so dr by d theta i can write down this is a into zero is zero minus into minus is plus so sine theta into a is a sine of theta right here i am getting dr by d theta is equal to b into 0 is 0 plus b into sine theta is b sine of theta right now divide uh, r on both sides why i am dividing later on you will be knowing so divide r on both sides divide r on both sides here also you can divide r on both sides okay so dr by d theta means i can write down here 1 by r dr by d theta just because i am dividing r on both sides so 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to a into sine of theta divided by r and here also i can write down 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to b sine of theta divided by r hope you are getting my point now you know already this is the derivation we have already derived this particular equation in the previous videos if you are not watching it you can go through the description box while you can avail the link of this particular video so 1 by r dr by d theta we can write down cot of phi now we are getting this phi in the picture i can call this phi as phi 1 just for the first equation and here i can write down cot of phi 2 is equal to this much d sine of theta divided by r so here i can write down a sine of theta by r okay hope you are following now cot of phi 1 is equal to a sine of theta i can write down as it is divided by r it is given in the problem itself that is r is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta so a into 1 minus cos of theta now here i can also write down cot of phi 2 is equal to b sine of theta divided by r instead of r i can write down this particular given equation so r is equal to b into 1 plus cos theta sorry this is b into 1 plus cos of theta now you have you need to remember some trigonometric uh, formulas which you are already aware of from your previous classes itself now i can write down here cot of phi 1 is equal to a instead of sine theta i can write down two times sine theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 this is the formula for this particular sine theta actually formula is sine 2 theta is equal to i sine theta cos theta but instead of 2 theta we are having theta so we can write down twice sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so this becomes your formula for this particular uh, sine theta over here so now a into 1 minus cos of theta it is again a formula that is twice sine square theta by 2 okay i hope you will remember these formulas over here 
Next one we have cot of phi 2 is equal to B sine of theta. We have again the formula that is twice sine theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 divided by B. And here again we have formula 1 plus cos of theta. So we were having here 1 minus cos of theta. So 1 plus cos of theta. Here we will be having twice cos square theta by 2. So here we were having twice sine square theta by 2 just because 1 minus cos of theta. Here we have 1 plus cos of theta. That is why I am taking twice cos square theta by 2. So this B and B will get cancel out. A and A will get cancel out. 2, 2 will get cancel out, right? And also here 2, 2 will get cancel out. Now sine theta cos theta by 2 and here we have sine square theta by 2. So 1 sine theta by 2 and 1 sine theta by 2 will get cancel out. We are left with cot of phi 1 is equal to this cos of theta by 2 and here we are left with 1 sine of theta. 1 sine of theta by 2 just because 1 is cancelled with this sine of theta by 2. Now cot of phi 2 is equal to uh, see here cos of theta by 2 and 1 cos theta by 2 will get cancelled out. We are left with sine theta by 2 divided by uh, cos theta by 2 cos theta by 2 right I think we have missed the sign somewhere here yes exactly so it was b into 0 plus minus sine of theta we have it in here positive so just make it minus b sine of theta so here is again minus b sine theta minus minus b sine theta minus and minus so hope it is clear actually it was 1 plus cos of theta so differentiation of cos is minus sine so I forget to write it over here. So that is why I have to make it correct now for you students uh, so that your answer will be correct. So minus is here minus minus. So minus sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Okay. So now cot of phi 1 is equal to uh, cos of theta by 2 divided by sine theta by 2. It is nothing but cot of theta by 2. Okay. So here you can write cos of uh, sorry cot of phi by 2 is equal to sine by cos is nothing but tan minus theta by 2. Okay. So now here you can write down cot and cot will get cancelled out. Phi 1 you will get theta by 2. Okay. Now here I can write down this cot of phi 2 as cot of 90 minus theta. So it is again a formula. So we can write down minus tan theta as cot of 90 plus theta plus theta sorry. Now you can cancel out this cot and cot will get cancelled out and we are left with phi 2 is equal to phi by 2 plus theta. Now what is the condition for this uh, orthogonality that is uh, phi 2 minus phi 1 we should get phi by 2 then only we can say that two pairs of polar curves can intersect orthogonally. Now let me check it. So phi 2 minus phi 1. So what is the phi 2 value that is your phi by 2 plus theta and minus phi 1. What is the phi 1 value theta by 2. So theta by 2 right. So sorry here we have tan of theta by 2 so we can write down cot of 90 plus theta so theta is nothing but theta by 2 so theta by 2 i can write down here theta by 2 so here also you can write down phi 2 phi 2 is pi by 2 plus theta by 2 so theta by 2 minus this pi 1 is theta by 2 so theta by 2 theta by 2 and minus theta by 2 will get cancelled out we are left with phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to pi by 2 so phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to pi by 2 this is the correct answer for your given question okay now we can say that the given pair of curves are intersecting orthogonally so this is the super important question make sure you will practice this this is the simple question simple differentiation is there i hope you can do it and make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you